What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another Fallout New Vegas build on Fudge Muppet. This week you voted for us to select a mystery build at random and surprise surprise we've decided to get the thug out of the way. For everyone wanting the thug, congratulations and for those who didn't, I think you'll be surprised at how fun this build actually is. If you want to vote for next week's build, head to our Facebook page via the link in the description and we'll have two brand new options waiting for you to choose from. The Thug requires no DLC, except we strongly recommend the Courier Stash DLC so you can start with the Mercenary Grenade Rifle. You will also side with the Powder Gangers in Good Springs and get a good reputation with them. The Thug is another fellow from New Reno, where our prostitute build hails from, and he grew up here amongst crime, misfortune, immense fortune from the casinos, and other thugs. He was never educated well and doesn't learn new skills very quickly. That being said, however, he's always had a keen eye for trouble and opportunity. He's extremely street smart. He had to be where he grew up. His main profession was as an enforcer and a debt collector for any of the new Reno families, whoever was paying the most. This went pretty well until eventually the debt collector amassed a debt himself because of excessive drinking, drug buying, and funding his scandalous habits. A debt collector would be sent for the thug and he had gotten himself so far in debt he was forced to flee New Reno. He moves from town to town, acting friendly but stealing from people when he can and moving to the next area. He ends up in Prim and gets a courier job as a disguise so he can continue stealing and holding people up in the wasteland. He did a few jobs and then eventually when he was given the platinum chip, which he suspected was a valuable package, he decided screw this, I'll just steal it and go. Some would call it karma, but that very day he was shot in the head. He then awakens in Good Springs and you know the story from there. Starting off in the wasteland, the thug is going to have some pretty beast attributes. You're only going to have 3 strength because this doesn't affect unarmed, but then you're going to have 10 points in perception and 10 points in endurance. This is to represent his keen eye and street smarts, and also his toughness as he's one hard man to kill. For those of you who don't know, 10 endurance gives you a starting health of 300, a 45% poison resistance, and an 18% rad resistance. You're only going to have 1 Charisma, 4 Points of Intelligence, 7 Agility, and 5 Luck. The tag skills are the major skills as always, and they are Unarmed, Explosives, and Survival. Imagine him running past a Deathclaw and pushing a grenade down its throat, only to run away past 2 bandits and knock them out with punches. He can also of course live off the land very efficiently. The minor skills are Repair and Lockpick, with Repair obviously to repair your gear, and Lockpick to steal from settlements and pick your way into good loot and hidden treasures. The traits for the thug are Heavy Handed and Skilled. He's definitely not going to have Good Natured. Skilled will add a massive 5 more points to all your skills, which is really handy, especially at the start of the game, at the cost of you gaining XP 10% slower. As we've said before, this doesn't really matter, there are plenty of things to kill and quests to do to get lots of XP. Heavy Handed is a great trait for this build as it makes him deal 20% more unarmed damage at the cost of 60% less critical damage. Critical hit damage won't really matter with unarmed because we're just going for high damage hits and the trait only affects unarmed and melee. You'll still find getting critical hits with explosives to be as likely as always. Making our endgame character level 30 as you see here, this is what you're gonna want. So for the gear we're going to be wearing fairly weak armor, mainly for the aesthetic. It's the Merc Adventurer Outfit. This only has a damage threshold of 1, but we're gonna make our DT higher using perks and implants. Also, because of your endurance, you're not going to be dying anytime soon. So your unarmed gear is going to be Love and Hate, which is a unique set of spiked knuckles that deals heaps of damage, and you find these at Bonnie Springs on the Viper Gang Leader. Your explosives weapon is going to be Thump Thump, which is a unique grenade rifle with an awesome paint design that has a picture of a beaver on it. Your explosive throwables will consist of everything you find, and we recommend dynamite early on due to its abundance. Now when it comes to implants, you can really pick what you want. Get all of them, but not endurance and perception, obviously. 
We will recommend that you give the subdermal armor implant priority as it does add 4 points to your damage threshold. So if you do decide to get all the implants, you're going to have 4 strength, 10 perception, 10 endurance, 2 charisma, 5 intelligence, 8 agility, and 6 luck. When it comes to the essential perks for the thug, there's quite a lot, so listen closely. You're going to want 3 ranks of Demolitions Expert, which gives you 20% of additional explosives damage with each rank, for a whopping total of 60% more explosives damage. To take your DT from 5 to 11, you're going to want the 2 ranks of the Toughness perk. This will give you 3 extra points of damage threshold with each rank. Next up, you're going to have the survival perk named Travel Light. This will give the thug 10% faster movement speed when wearing light or no armor, as he is, and next up, Hit the Deck, which will give you a massive 25 extra points of damage threshold against explosives. This obviously includes your own, which is very useful when you're fighting up close with unarmed and your bombs go off a bit too close. Splash damage is the next essential perk, and this makes your explosives cover 25% more area so you can damage more enemies. The Life Giver perk will be used for 30 more points of health, and Piercing Strike will also be chosen so the Thug can negate 15 points of damage threshold with his unarmed attacks. Slayer will also be an essential perk, as this gives you 30% more unarmed attack speed for the Thug, which is great considering that Love and Hate is generally fast striking already. Finally, you want a perk we don't usually choose on Fudge Muppet, Paralyzing Palm. Paralyzing Palm gives you a 30% chance in VATS to perform a special palm strike that paralyzes your opponent for 30 seconds. If you want to know when we pick all these perks, you can find out by watching the part 2 video for the Thug. For extra fun, you'll also want all the unarmed perk moves like Legion Assault, Khan Trick, and Ranger Takedown. When it comes to the main storyline, the thug is going to be siding with Yes Man. Yes Man is going to let him do whatever he wants, and the thug is of course going to love this. You can destroy who you feel like destroying, and be nice to certain groups if you're feeling friendly. You're going to have a lot of power over the world, and not have your decisions determined by someone else such as House. The thug also will have no companions, he's not really fond of others and their lack of respect for the thug life. And that wraps up this week's Fallout New Vegas build, The Thug. Thanks for tuning in and like the video if you love roleplaying like this and can't wait for more. Subscribe for more content so you don't miss out and remember again that the Facebook voting link is in the description. If you want to know how to allocate the perks and skills at each level, check out the part 2 video. Social media links are in the description. My name is Michael and I'll see you soon with more Fallout.